Hello everyone, this is Professor Pawan and in this video we are going to solve a SFD and BMD problem based on a cantilever subjected to loading as shown in figure. Now this cantilever here is subjected to two loads that is one UDL over a span of 4 meter and another point load of magnitude 30 kN at the free end. So let's start uh, finding the shear forces at various salient points. We will start from rightmost end to leftmost end that is point from point B to point A. Now shear power force at point B is 30 kN and it is positive because it is on the right side and it is acting downwards. So it is positive and it remains same till point D. Yeah, it remains same till point D. So we will be having a constant line uh, that is straight line from point B to D now. Next we need to find out the shear force at point C. Now shear force at point C will be uh, equal to uh, yeah, shear force at point C will be equal to 30 kilo Newton which is already there and I also have to consider the effect of the UDL that is I need to multiply the magnitude of UDL into the length over which it acts that is 30 plus 10 into 4. So the total SF at C will be nothing but 70 kilo newton yeah, 70 kilo newton now this will remain same till point a since there is no other force from point c to point a so it remains same from point c to point a now i'll have to draw the sf diagram that is shear force diagram so let me the, uh, project the salient points through which I can represent the values of shear forces at those particular points. Now let me draw the datum line that is the line which represents zero line. So I know that at point B the shear force is 30 kN at remain and it remains same from B to D. So here I have drawn a constant line that is 30 kN. Next I know that there is a UDL from D to C and hence shear force will be an inclined line from D to C that is at D it is 30 kN and at C it becomes 70 kN. Now at point A also the shear force remains same that is it remains same from C to A hence it will be constant. Now all the values are positive and now let me shade the diagram here. So this is the SFT. Yeah. Now I will have to uh, start drawing the bending moment diagram. So first let me find out the bending moments at the various uh, salient points. First let me start from point B. Now I know that at point B although we have a force we do not have any particular distance from that force. So bending moment at B will be equal to 0 bending moment at B will be equal to 0 kilo Newton meter. Next I will see the bending moment at point D. The bending moment at point D will be equal to minus 30 into 2 and it is minus yeah it is minus 30 into 2 the perpendicular distance minus 30 into 2 and it is minus because uh, it produces clockwise moment which is negative. So the bending moment at D is minus 60 kilo Newton meter. Next I need to find out bending moment at uh, point C. Here I need to consider the bending moment due to the point load as well as the bending moment due to QD. Now the point load is 30 kilo Newton and the perpendicular distance now from point C to 30 kilo Newton is uh, 6 meter. So it becomes minus 30 into 6 and next I have to consider the effect of uh, UDL for you for which I need to multi convert that into the load first that is load intensity into load uh, that I do by multiplying its load intensity into length that is 10 into 4 into the point where it exactly has, acts that is the midpoint half of 4 that is minus 4 into 10 into 2. So the bending moment at C is minus 180 and minus 80 kilonewton, kilonewton meter. Yeah. So totally it is minus 260 kilonewton meter. 
now before uh, i find out the bending moment at point a let me just project the line so that i can actually draw the datum line for the bending moment diagram Now let me find out the bending moment at point A. Uh, again I have to consider the effect of bending moment due to the point load and the UDL. So bending moment at uh, A will be equal to minus 30, uh, minus 30 into the total distance from point A that is minus, uh, minus 30 into 8, the distance is 8 meter. It is 8 okay. and I have to consider the UDL now which becomes minus 10 into 4. First I will convert into uh, the uh, load load intensity into load into 4 that is 2 meter plus half of 4 meter that is 2 meter that is 2 meter plus 2 meter which is 4 meter. So minus 10 into 4 into 4. So the total bending moment at A becomes equal to minus 400 kilo newton meter. So now I have to draw the bending moment diagram. I have drawn the datum line already. From B to D, it varies linearly, and at B the bending moment is zero. At D the bending moment is minus 60 kilonewton meter. And since it's a point load, the variation will be linear. Now from D to C, there's a UDL, and hence the variation will be parabolic variation. At C, the bending moment magnitude is minus 260 kilonewton meter and again from C to A we will be having uh, C to A there is no UDL so again the variation will be the point load our variation will be actually the uh, linear linear line so this magnitude I have to represent it now which is minus 400 kilonewton meter and uh, all the values are negative. Let me shade the diagram like this. And hence, uh, this is the bending moment diagram for this particular problem. Hope you all understood this problem. And uh, if you like this video, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you.